So this is the Hoham M7. I got a sample from them this morning and been playing around with it, pretty impressed so far. But I had a really interesting idea, well, for me, I thought it would be interesting anyway, to attach my thermal camera. This is the Thermal Master T2 Max to my phone and then chuck it in the gimbal and see how it performs long distance because it is a little bit shaky at maximum magnification. I've taken it out of the actual holder as you can see here. So let's uh, let's see how it performs. Thermal Master T2 Max now in the M7 gimbal and holy cow, this is making it so much easier to use. Just got it on like the, the default setting on the gimbal. Let's do some pinch to zoom here. Get real close to this area in the back. Uh, 15 times zoom. Wow, okay. Put the X3 on. Now this is pretty awesome. Just because I've been always used to holding it without the gimbal. And obviously sharing a lot of shaky footage. So, let's see if I can kind of focus on something up in the distance. I mean, yeah, just incredibly smooth, of course, with, uh, with the gimbal. I can look on the, the roof here and we can just... Now, if I touch the, the actual camera itself, it does shake around a little bit to, if I want to adjust the focus like that. But once I take it off, it's pretty good. This is four times, we'll zoom back out again to one times and uh, let's just adjust the focus as well as I can. And yeah, again, just me freehanding this thing. Maybe if I can zoom in again, just like using the digital zoom six times. Yeah, obviously at this kind of magnification, you're still going to get a little bit of movement, but I mean, that is pretty good. That is pretty incredible. Oh, the X3 actually looks a lot better now that, uh, yeah, since I don't have any movement, that's the X3 off, X3 on. Let's have a look further up there. 